We took some L's but still prevailed, I'm blessed, I ain't stressed A lot of signs you gotta peep on this road to success go. Got heavy eyes cause I don't sleep, I'm on the road to that check Let's go. Got blood in my flesh, go. run it up to invest, I cut some people up Video. We got a, I know my wife want me to do a little video, so we got Sean, we got Sean out here on the on the uh, doing a test drive. We got Sean doing a test drive out here. We got him out here driving, doing a test drive. Uh, I've checked. I've already checked the uh, did the free trip and everything on this truck. Check the lights, all the. And you know how everything tires and you know uh, dry shelf shoot the dry shelf and the steering you know the steering knuckle on the outside made sure that it was you know it seemed like it was in pretty good shape now I'm just letting me do a little test ride to get familiar become one with the truck uh, he can hear the different sounds of the how the truck runs and how it's operating how the brakes air brakes work and things of that nature he's becoming one how you feel man Oh, okay then, alright. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to concentrate on everything and uh, just thought we'd give you a little overview of this uh, first test drive because this finna be him from this point on. <laughs> Y'all be safe out there and uh, have a nice day. So we're going to pull back into the neighborhood, our neighborhood, and uh, he had a good test drive. He did good, listened well. Watch that top right off now. Yeah, and this thing low right now. And uh, make sure it don't tear your top up. Yeah, he did. He did really well on the test drive. It was just a little test drive for this morning for me to see how you know how he handled the truck. So he handled it real, really well. I'm comfortable. I feel comfortable with him taking the truck and just driving somewhere. You know what I mean? But I ain't seen how he gonna park and stuff like that. We are gonna see how he gonna do like that a little later. And uh, we back in the neighborhood. <clears throat> and he did. He did well. See how you gonna turn in the driveway down here. I'm right, gonna go to the stop sign. Then you got when you go over the hump like that, you gotta really slow down. Cause it you're gonna take a left, and then you're gonna pull up into the okay. to the play right there. Let swing out a little bit. Right. Watch that mailbox over there. Gotcha. Alright. You're gonna head straight up toward the truck. Go go up toward the truck now. Go on up toward the truck. Now turn. Now turn. There you go. Cause you that for look in your mirror, make sure your tires ain't hitting the railroad tire. See them over there on that side? Yeah. Pull on up. Stay over there way, stay over there way, stay over there way. Yeah. And get back over that way a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Right there. There you go. Did good. That's good. That's good. find your emergency flashes. And then when you get out, you either go up to the back and look, or go to the front and go after the boat. You crank that truck up in the morning time. Call part of the free trip. Make sure all your lights working, all on my own. So if he stopped you, you if he stopped you for something, you like, man, and one of them, I know all the lights were working that morning, you know what I mean? 
If they, if one of them is off, it could mean a citation. Oh yeah. Huh? I was telling them if one of them is off, it could mean a citation. Then you go to the front of the truck, and they got a spot on there where you can grab it like this. Pull mm -hmm. that up. So go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and that hood come over here. Let it. And <clears throat> so here's right here where you do what with what that say? Window washer fluid. Right, right. Okay, now this uh. It's a nice looking motor. Huh? Yeah, man, that's a good motor right there, man. Yeah. That one is the top of the line motor for that year right there. Okay, so, okay, so you remember when I was telling you about how uh, you got to listen at sounds? Right, right, right. Okay, then we heard that do 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 do. Yeah. Then we heard that. Psh. Right. This what said. Psh. Um. This thing right here. This thing hit right here is what let that air. Right here, you got you got your air filter come. Uh, where you put your air filter in, okay. and I don't know if you're gonna do this or you're gonna get someone else to do it, but you got some screws up here, mm -hmm. three of them up here, where you can screw that out, take this up off, and put your new uh on there. filter in, put that back down. You see your radiator, and okay, this is your all, this is your all uh stick right here. So when you when you do this, you want to grab it right here. You want to grab it, turn it. It locks in right there. You want to grab it, turn it, and then pull it out like this. Mm. And you can tell where you are. You can tell where you all at. You want to put it back in. You want to put it back down in that. It got a ball on it, so you're going to find that little hole right there. Put it back in. And it ain't going to go in no farther. You're going to have to grab it right here. Mm -hmm. um, push it on in. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Push it on in. Push it on down in there. Let it sit there. Then pull this out. Then you can measure where you're all at. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? You see where it's at, huh? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And it's clean, so yeah, it's brand nice. new. Yeah. And also with your transmission, it's the same thing, but you check that when it's uh when it's hot. Yeah, it's running. So, yeah, yeah, when it's running. So you don't... And if it don't go that way. Turn it over like this. Mm -hmm. Turn it over and put it back down in there and then push it. Cause it'll go one side or the other side. Push it in there. Then you can lock it in like that. Okay. And these are this is the stuff you want to check uh, on your pre-trip. You want to check your all. You want to check your all. Make sure your fluid. Make sure ain't nothing leaking up underneath. Then a lot of times what they do is uh on one of your pre-trips. I mean, so on your pre trip, you're gonna go, you're gonna start kind of like making sure there ain't no bolts on came loose. So you want to grab this. This is what turns your wheels in and out. Mm -hmm. You grab this and kind of shake it, make sure it ain't loose. loose. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, and these are all your airlines right here that goes that deals with everything that has to deal with your air and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. And you want to make sure you. Say for instance, uh, you want to look on the inside, like right in here. You mm -hmm. want to just check, you know, take a look and see, make sure it ain't wet. Because mm. if it's wet, that means something what? Leaking. Leaking, right. Yeah. You want to do it on both tires. Mm -hmm. You want to do it on both tires. So, and then you just want to take a look and make sure everything look, look like it's all right, man. You know what I mean? And so this is power stirring. That has to do with your power stirring fluid right there. Make sure it's up to level. Um, I'll show you a video about how to change that out. I can, I can show you a video how to change that out right And there. I think it, it's like 50 to 40 gallons. Then you got your depth tank. You got your depth right here. And then you seen on your, you seen on your cluster, on your, on your board where, the, where it said depth. Mm -hmm. And it went all the way up to green. Right. So that's your depth. And let's see what's in this guy. I don't know what's in him. Batteries. So you got two hooks back there. You got two openings back there, see them? Okay. Yeah, you're going to put them down in there like that. Sit that back down up on there. And pull that up. Then shake it. Make sure it, 
make sure you got it right so it don't fall. And he go, he go shake this and make sure that dry shell ain't loose. Cause a lot of times up in here you got bearings. Well, you got bearings up in here, and then when them bearings go out. Um, this thing gonna be loose. Right. It'll be loose if them bearings don't don't wo out and stuff. It's gonna be loose, and then this whole dry shell can just drop down. Why and, and fall out under the truck and kill somebody? Right, right, right. So you you gonna be conscious of that, okay? And when he give you an inspection, a lot of times he gonna check the U U bolt. Right. This bolt right here go over, go down, and come up on around the other side. This is what holds this uh, box down on this chassis. Mud flap. Then you can see the U bolts that goes all the way back. You see them U bolts. They go all the way back, holding that, holding that thing, holding that thing down. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna run into your lift gate right here. Let's see, can we get that? Lift I told gate. you about uh, your oil gonna be Sage 15W40. That's what this truck used. 15W40, not 10W40, 5W30, none of that. It'll be 15W40. And it'll be for diesel trucks. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? That's why I look at it. Right. Diesel trucks. Run, it might not go. Let it on down a little bit. A little bit more. That's it. Far to go. Okay, let's see where it, can you put it out in there. Yeah. So, <clears throat> what's going on with that? This ground is unlevel. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to pull like if we get on level grind that lift gate will flip on out. Pallet jack and it got a pallet jack stopper right here. Ah, uh, okay. Right, so this is how it works right here. You lift up on it like that. Uh, and if you uh, but you gotta let it all the way down. Long jack, my thing. This is what she was talking about. Send it to you. A lot of times they do this sideways. You have to put them station, station them on these right up. And then you can lock it in to where your load don't move. But but see I know I just use these. Same thing. You see what I'm talking about? Same thing, I just I just use these right here. Lock the load. You remember how we did it yesterday? Right. Lock the load in. Pull them a scrap. And open it up. Let's see. It doesn't work. Pull it in right there. Hold on. This one right here. Hold on. There we go. Now put it. There you go. Put it on that. Put it on somebody. Put it. A little bit more. Right. Okay, now now this this is what releases that. Okay. You got one that releases this side, that side right there, and you got one that releases this side, which okay. which would be this one. Okay. And then then instead of using this, I can use this and ratchet. See how see how it gets tight? Ratchet my load is dropped off. But it seems like a lot, but it ain't. It, it's a lot, but it really ain't just a routine. It's just, it's just you know, it's just a routine. Mm -hmm. You know. So. And the way you get these out, more you want to push this in, then release it. But you gotta hold, you gotta hold the bar at the same time. And then you stop, stop that. And then put that down. These flaps are up on these right here. But they got, they got on. Uh, they got bad ball bearings in this guy. Yeah. And you roll them. That's me keeping maintenance on the truck so I don't have to keep on spending a whole lot of money. If I, if I get ready to spend some money on the truck, it's going to be exhausted. You see what I'm saying? Everything, all, everything that I can do will be exhausted. And what I'm doing is really, really ain't supposed to be doing it. But. This, 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 I'm just showing you a short way I do it. You're supposed to let that gate down. You just let it stay right there. Then I'm going to sit right here. Then I'm going to come on down. Get on down. Now you still can. Hold on. Let me let this up a little bit. 
mama said, from the kicks on that side, you ain't got to have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it hit. Yeah, it's good. Thank you for that down. So, Sean, you just drove the box truck for the first time. How you feel? You just operated the box truck for the first time. How you feeling about it? I feel good. It was, the ride was nice. It was a smooth ride. It feels like a good truck. Was it different being so high up in the air? Well, it it was a uh, it was something uh, familiar to like a, a U-Haul, yeah, a big U-Haul. So I, I I was a little familiar with the uh, height of it. Okay. Right. How you feeling about your pre-trip? Um, it was good. I I kind of get. Uh, the safety precautions and everything. Uh, I, I I get it. I see. How often should you preach up? S excuse me. How often should you preach up? Oh, before before uh before you drive anywhere. Before right. and after and every after. load. But the pre trip is before the post trip. Post trip is after. After after you don't drop the load. Yeah. Right. Okay. right. We ain't went over the post trip yet, but it's just it's 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 a little less. Uh intricate than the pre-trip because when you pull after you get off the road you pull in right now you know you're gonna let your truck run for a few minutes you know you're gonna put it in park let it run for a few minutes then you you might get out and you know say let me see these blinkers still working boom 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 okay blinkers blinkers still working lights still working okay i don't see no leaks up under the engine you don't shut your truck down right you you see what i'm saying you might not do all that right all that, all that right. other stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. But when you get ready to, before you leave, you need to do all that stuff. You see what I'm talking about. Okay. And the reason I didn't do it the morning before we left is because I already had did it. I already had one over that truck sitting out there when I did that oil pan. Mm -hmm. I had checked the oil. I had checked the fluids. I had crunk it up. I knew that everything was going. You right. see, I don't know nothing about it. I knew it was going to do that because mm -hmm. I, I don't let the Listen truck to it. Huh? Cause he listened to it. Yeah, listen to it. You gotta make sure you, you gotta become one with the truck. That what he be teaching me all the time. You gotta one listen. With that truck. Turn the music down. You gotta yeah. listen. Now, yeah. Turn the music down and listen to the truck. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta listen, you gotta listen there because it'll tell you when something wrong. Hopefully it will. You know, right? yeah. Then you can catch it before it get worse. Yeah. Because that's when it started calling you that money, money, money. Yeah. <laughs> so really your pro so really your post trip should be the same as your pre trip, but the reason that he says it's a little less because every time we stop, he's checking the truck out. Okay. So he don't do such a thorough all the way around because throughout the day he's been checking the truck, making sure the lights are still on. Mm -hmm. Under the hood when we stop at a pickup or when we stop at a rest, he checking the fluids. He's always checking the truck so that's a good practice too but if you don't do that then your pre-trip should be just like your post-trip because you can catch things right. about the truck that you can fix before you get back on the road right yeah yeah maybe you ran over a nail right check them tired you know, yeah make sure you check yeah look glance at them and run your hand over me you know what i mean check mm -hmm. them make mm -hmm. sure you know because see the what's truck, the name of that hammer you got that you be checking the tires Ball, ball and pin hammer. I, I just got a little ball and pin hammer. You got a little ball on. Okay. And I just hit my tire and it, it bounced up off of it. And, sure you know, with a solid, it. with a solid uh, hit. And uh, I know that the tire got a lot of air, but if it just, <clears throat> I know that that tire dead. It ain't right. got no air in it. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, man, how come the tire ain't got no air in it? It's leaking out. Crazy man, that one tell me they leaking out. It ain't got. No right, right, right. <laughs> so you got to get that tire fixed. I was telling him too also about uh safe instance. You know, he start to have a problem. He start to have a problem with something on the road and he get broke down. You know, the how it is that the love and the uh flying jake have uh mechanic shops and stuff that you they might mm -hmm. have a uh, uh on the call mechanic, you know, mm -hmm. mobile mechanic can come out and give you a hand, but but uh it costs, it costs, mm -hmm. man. It costs. Also, at some of those truck stops, my husband can tell you from experience because one time in the middle of the night, he was looking for a part and he went down to the truck stop and they have Freightliner places and, mm. and different. I can't think of the name of the place that you went to, babe, but they do have people other than Lowe's. Sometimes it might be a Freightliner next to the um, truck stop right. so if you can catch somebody that specializes in your type vehicle that's even better right babe yeah we got a heno so uh, 
it hard to kind of match parts up with the Hino because they'd be like, no, nah, man, you, if you got a Peterbilt or a Freightliner or something like that right there, you know, they might can cross the parts numbers, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and get you a part that'll work for your vehicle. But when you're dealing with a Hino, they'd be like, no, nah, man, we, we, we ain't got nothing to go. No, nah, man, you got to go. They got special special uh, equipment for the Hino. And all. I mean, this old stuff. Hino is Toyota. Yeah, but we ain't got it. We ain't mm -hmm. got it, though, man. We got, we got Freightliner. I was like, okay. <laughs> so yesterday we dropped the load off. Okay. Right. Dropped that little load off. I didn't take my what about an hour. Right. Loaded up. Went to the play. Loaded up. Went. Picked it up. Went to the play. Unloaded. Okay. When we got ready to leave, we got ready to leave. She said, "She going to the store." Yeah. She, <laughs> she gonna drop by the store, right? Okay. Okay. So she knew that, and she dropped by the store, and we came on to the high. We'll beat her here. Okay, but I told Sean, I was like, hey, you ain't home, man? Oh, he was like, no, nah, man. I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and give me a hamburger, man. Right. So I dropped out the chair. Mm -hmm. So she got home before I did. So she called me. She said, oh, where you at? Something like that. She said, yeah. She, she, like, she said, you, you must have stopped somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn, she keep his head on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we wasn't there for about five Right here, such and such. Right. You got an iPhone? Yes. Oh, she ain't go. She gonna have him on location. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She gonna have him. I got drivers on location right now. They ain't even on runs for me. I can see where they yeah. at. Yeah. But that's the best thing. Cause people oversleep. Stuff happens. Yeah, yeah. You gotta keep a check on that. See, that's why I was just referring to uh, you know what have you done? Because you gotta keep a check on it. Cause it's part of your business. Mm -hmm. Time. Because, see, I need to be out here cutting some lawn right now. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You see, but, see, I got to do this. Uh -huh. You feel what I'm talking about? See, I can see, if you ain't, if you, you see what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah. good. No, right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> if she ain't on her business, <laughs> she need to get on her business. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she, she good. I know she handled her part. I don't even worry about that. See, I'm going to be handling my part when they ain't even here. She going to be on Zoom with me trying yeah, to figure right, stuff right. out I'm when they right. ain't even here. Right. Yeah. Uh -oh. And honestly... Yeah, we in business. You ready? I'm ready. Let me get... Hold on. Let me get a picture of y'all right here for the thumbnail for this one. Couple got first, family second, then the money, 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 money. We can talk some business if it's worth it. Ain't no question, I want money, 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 money. Let's go. We can talk some business if it's worth it. Ain't no question, I want money.